Hey guys, and welcome back to the uh, Z Quest for Mushu. Um, so I recorded this already, but halfway through the re like after I finished recording and I went back to start editing, half of the video was like deleted. I don't know what went wrong with the video or anything like that. So I ha I'll show you guys where the all the oysters are, so we can so you guys can know where to go to find them. And we are going to first start off with going to Hamatsu Village, and then Ta Tataki Outpost from there, and then we'll go on and so on and so on. One of them to get to it, I will have to do one of the dungeons. Um, not all the way through. I just have to fight one boss, so that will take eh, a little bit of time. Yeah. I, I don't know, it sucks like that the video got deleted, but what can you do? I mean, sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes bad. Can't do anything about it. Drinking tea. Uh, it's cold today, it's very cold. And this is keeping me really warm. So, the first oyster is gonna be right here. Show you guys where it is on the map. It's just right there in this corner. There you go. And I never noticed that there is actually birds up there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, just straight across to Tataki Village or Tataki Outpost to get the oyster there, and that's the only ones for this area. Crimson Fields does not have one. I swear it used to have one, but it might, they might have got rid of it or something make this quest easier, or they might have just never had it and I just imagined it. Probably that I just imagined it. This one's also easier to find. Oh, and most of the times the oysters will be by water. The one over in Hamatsu Village was not by water. I don't think it was. I mean, it was it's probably somewhere around there is a well, but they usually are in close proximity to any type of water in the game so the second one is right behind this well in Tataki Outpost it's right there next to Manim Maito uh, that's probably not right but he's right there alright next up are gonna be the two in the Jade Palace yep the this is the only ones that have two. Okay, so the first one is going to be back here. The ones here aren't that hard to find. To be fair, these are like the easiest ones, other than the smiths to find. Right here under the cherry blossom. Right there on the map, it's even like in the cherry blossom icon. Yep, that's the first one. And the second one is just straight across from it. And as I was saying, um, this is probably the easiest out of, other than the, the Smith's one is the easiest, of course. And I just got, like, glitched off on that corner. Um, yeah, the Smith's one is the easiest one. And then this is probably the second easiest, in my opinion. Just because they're so big compared to some of the other stuff. I mean, the cats that we had to find weren't too hard either. Oh, I don't know. Really, I mean, what you your guys' preference is, I guess. So the the fourth one is right here under this red tree. And yep, pretty easy to find, also. Okay. Now the next one, I think. Well, I know where one is. It's gonna be where is it? Uh, Shoshan Village. There's one in Shoshan Village. There's two that go from Shoshan Village. That you have to find and one of them is where the dungeon is so the first oyster is you go across here where uh, Song King is and before you reach him you turn left and then turn left again and it's just gonna be right behind this little hut over here here it is on the map yep I should probably show you it's a little longer it's really not that hard to find this one either. like I said close to water proximity around water and like a couple feet away usually Okay, the next one, I know there's not one in Kayla Sol, so, uh, Kishabi Village, there's one there, and, shh. 
and then Shikata Temple, but that's probably wrong also. Pronounce it. Shar Shar Sharataki Temple. Shirataki Temple. Something like that. This one's also really easy to find. I think it is, anyway. Let's grab this wooden chest to see how much gold we get. 61. This is decent. Yeah. Need to go across here. Oh, there's a lot of reagents. It's always. It's always nice being in Mushu because there's always so many reagents. Grizzleheim also. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them there. There's the cattail there. I have enough cattail for a while. And it wasn't, like, on the path. So, like, this one is. Like, the one over here is, uh, uh Tulak Kuo. You don't have to go talk to him. You just have to go across these two bridges and then you literally just turn left straight after you get off the second bridge. Go up here where Mossback is. Mossback is, like, everywhere. And then you turn into here, and it's right here behind the well again. Easy to find. Alright, the next one is in Shirataki Temple. So once I get to the one in Shirataki Temple, I will see you guys then. Alrighty. We are finally here. It took quite a bit of time. You don't need to talk to anything. Oh, if you've already beat this place, um, all you can do is you just walk through the gate. If you haven't, you have to do the dungeon to get in here. So, if you guys don't know how to do the dungeon, um, watch my video uh, on the dungeon, and uh, I explain how to do it there. Um, anywho, so all you do is walk through this gate, take a right, and over there by the statue is a shell. Right up here, super easy to find, by the gigantic statue. Alright. That's all the ones there. Next up is we got two or three three more. Three more. And these are the really easy ones to find. One of them is in the tree of life and all you, you there's really nothing you have to do in there. You just have to walk in, go get it, and that's it. Simple. Simplicity is my middle name. Not really. I actually like complex things and detail. I mean, simplicity has its own beauty, but complicated things are more fun to figure out. Anyways, enough about that. So you come through here, and you have to pretty much go in like a straight line. Like once you get across this bridge, it's like the longest path in all of Mushu. Just so long, it's so so long. Anyways, yeah, you just have to go around the uh, behind the Muda statue. Got this mist wood over here. Yeah, you go up, you go up here, and you you could come down here. You don't have to, but I mean, you, you can go any way you want. But it's right here in between these two statues behind the Muda. Here it is on the map, right there. There we go. Um, uh, let's see. Village of Sorrow. Now this one, I kind of don't remember where it is. I think I, uh, no, 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 I do know where it is. Never mind, never mind. Also, before we go in there, though, let's take a mark here because it takes forever to get out of the Village of Sorrow. And there's mushrooms just always on this path for me. I don't know why. Maybe I should make some mushroom stew. There's gonna be three videos that are coming out today. There's a new tower and brawl that is gonna come out today. I was gonna record it yesterday, but I got stuck in traffic. There's like, um, where I live, it's, um, in Washington and Oregon border. There's um, I-5 and the I-5 bridge to cross over from Oregon into Washington. Someone crashed right on it, and it, the whole bridge is a two-lane bridge, and it got blocked on and everything and it was ridiculous sucked and I was like stuck in that for like an hour and a half coming home from school late at night eh, what can you do yeah went with a friend to a uh, pub chilled for a little bit Alrighty, so 
you just have to follow this path pretty much the main path don't turn anywhere I mean we could have taken the butterfly but I totally forgot about it and yeah all you do is you got to go here and leading off towards like the trance crashing the wall uh, floor the smashing the floor um, there's a well over here and it is not behind here forgot it this one is not over here that's the Hamatsu village one the one for here is gonna be right there why am I so I did this like twice yeah well once well, I've done it several times on other wizards but yeah it's right here here it is on the map right there right under Usanoki Usa Usanoki right under him right there and now for the final blue oyster that you guys need to know where to find that is going to be in uh, the tree of life I'm not looking forward to doing the quest in Grizzleheim because that one that one is annoying to do like two birds per area total of like eight or something or like twelve I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need the temple no more. Just pop into here. The countdown. The countdown. And then sometimes those. Oh. Excuse me. I wish they had an option to have you skip the countdown if you needed it. Or not. Alright. Here you go either way. You just have to get into the inner zone. But le if you go left, it you'll get straight to the... Oyster, up there, right there. Yeah, if you take the left one path, it's faster. It's right here, behind the teleporter hub. That is the last oyster, and all you do is afterwards just talk to Zeke. I already did this. I already got my training point, or as I like to call them, Peach Point. Already got it. Uh, yeah. Zeke is going to be over here, Just turn in the quest afterwards, and you're good to go. Anyways, guys, that was the quest for Zeke for Mushu, the Blue Oysters. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you ever need to know where to find them or you forgot where to find them, just re re refer back to any of my uh, Zeke quest videos. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you guys next time for another Zeke quest. Bye, guys.